pouring the cafecito. Cause that's how we do it down here in Miami. Bottom of the map, baby. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you can be informed of all our adventures. Today we're transmitting to you live from the bottom of the map at 305 Mayayo and the destination is Base Town. We're going to be taking y'all to see a huge boombox because y'all already know Miami is home of the base. So come along, we got plenty of space. Jeep. Yeah. Located at the corner of Northwest 6th Avenue and 23rd Street, recently added to Roadside America, this giant boombox is a creation of two amazingly talented graffiti artists, Ishmael and Trek 6. The iconic Ghetto Blaster has become a landmark to the city of Miami and can be seen when you're traveling northbound on I-95. In recent years, the boombox has become a popular photo spot and has been featured in numerous music videos, TV shows, and blockbuster movies. This building has had many looks throughout the years, but has always remained a 1980s boombox representing the Miami sound that is currently heard all over the world. So let's go take a closer look. It's the giant boombox. You can no longer carry it over your shoulder. If you take a look at the top right, you see the antenna to transmit the signal. And you will also notice that the handle has been broken off on the left. The words Everlasting Bass refer to a song from the title 1988 Miami Bass Smash Hit single performed by Rodney O and Joe Cooley. Quote, some people can't take it, they try to plead the case, but they can't get enough of Everlasting Bass. Beneath the colorful equalizer, you find control knobs popping out made out of trash buckets. These knobs would have been used to set the volume, adjust the treble, and turn up the bass. Here up top, you find an analog style FM dial made out of wooden frames popping out the building. Highlighting Miami bass, hip hop, and R&B radio stations. From left to right, you see VUM, Power 96, 99 Jams, Y100, and Hot 105. So as we walk over to the left hand side of the building, we will find a knob made out of another trash bucket. And this is how you would tune into your favorite radio station. Now, what is a boombox without a good old fashioned cassette deck? Back in the days, most tape players in Miami would for sure be blasting a mixtape from yours truly, DJ TuneIn or DJ Laz, DJ Uncle Al, rest in peace, Mr. Mix, DJ Magic Mike, DJ Dream, Mega Mix, or any of these other legendary Miami mixtape DJ pioneers. So here we are at the back of the boombox, and it's only right to find Miami's own, the legendary Fresh Kid Ice. Fresh Kid Ice was one of the members of the most controversial rap group, the Two Life Crew, who took the freedom of speech trial all the way to the Supreme Court and won. So for those of you who do not know, the Miami bass sound emerged in the early 1980s from the ghettos of Miami at the time, such as Liberty City, My Hood, Little Havana, Opalaka, Cutler Ridge, Wynwood, Alapata, Ghouls, Carroll City, Overtown, Little Haiti, and Miami's neighbor, Hialeah. The Miami bass sound has been a blueprint to a lot of producers in hip hop, trap, drum and bass, EDM, and that 808 drum still continues to be present in today's music. The sound consists of a rolling 808 drum machine with hard knocking kicks and low bass frequencies at the average rate of about 122 beats per minute. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. Hope y'all enjoyed the visit here at the giant boombox with a little bit of that Miami bass history. Please keep in mind that the boombox is located in a heavily populated area of Miami, so expect crowds of people and lots of traffic. And for all you out-of-towners, please watch your back. Protect your neck. With that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, ding the bell, and all that good stuff. And don't forget to meet new faces. See new places. And always leave a space for love. Bye. Peace.